Carl Schmirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey, at this beautiful street glide from North Carolina. It was scheduled for a tune. Uh, he trailed the bike up. He had a feeling that there was going to be a few things wrong, so he actually got a hotel for a couple of days while we went over the bike. And uh, it will not be a quick turnaround. We are not going to be able to tune this bike. There's a ton of issues. This bike needs a complete rewire. The sad part is this bike's been to three shops and nobody addressed these issues. So now I have to clean everything up. What happened to this client is really not fair. Check it we out. won't be selling him any equipment because all the equipment he has, I like. He's got uh, Ground Zero Black Baskets, Ground Zero Pro Horn Tweeters. Um, the wiring's a mess, but we're gonna fix it up. This is where the issues begin. So we wanted to check with all the power he's running to make sure he's running a lithium battery and he is. So first issue I have here is they didn't have the proper length bolts. So he used a bunch of washers, which pushes out the positive battery terminal. And that's dangerous because now there's a risk of arcing and sparking the terminal, but fine. You can get, uh, these are regular M6 bolts. You can get a flared bolt from Amazon. You can get the entire kit for like 25 bucks and it gives you all different lengths. So you can get the perfect length and then it's not a regular bolt like that one. So it actually won't slip. I'll put a link in the, uh, in the description below. So I can live past that. So I'm looking, there's only two power wires coming off the battery. There's two eight gauge aluminum wires. So it's not oxygen free copper, it's aluminum. So there's the ground, there's the power. There's a small entry level fuse block with two 30 amp fuses. So that means this bike is fused for 60 amps of current. There's no other power ground wires. So you have to remember 60 amps give you 800 watts. So we go to the tour pack. We have a 3000, a 400, a 1200, a 1200. Crazy. Wait till I lift this board and show you what's going on. So we have over 5,000 watts RMS off two eight gauge aluminum wire, 60 amps of fusing for everything. So the client took it to another shop. This is the DSP he had installed, the Rockford DSR-1. He had absolutely no noise. They upgraded him to the Dayton DSP. Now the client has noise. Hear that? Client says that was not there before they swapped the DSP. Fine. Only ran one set of RCAs to the DSP. And I have no idea why the DSP... Fine, whatever. Cheap aluminum speaker wire. As soon as you touch it, it broke off. Now... Sound Digital, owner's manual, says to use four gauge oxen free copper wire for the 1200. That is eight gauge aluminum. You can tell it's eight gauge because there's a lot of room in the hole. Another thing that upsets me, if you cannot afford as a shop, if you cannot afford to have a spool of red and a spool of black, and you have to tape the black wire, maybe you shouldn't be working on client's bikes. I, it's a huge pet peeve of mine. Then some, it all happens. Sometimes we run out, but don't tape the wire up. You could put a black boot on it, loom the wire. It's, it's, you probably spent more money in tape to tape the wire than it would have cost you to get a spool. It's, it's not like you're using expensive wire. This is aluminum wire. This stuff's like $20 a roll. Okay, whatever. So supposed to have four gauge, has eight gauge. Supposed to have four gauge, has eight gauge. This amplifier takes four gauge. They use four gauge aluminum. But think about it. If it's eight gauge wire coming from the battery, how does it magically turn into four gauge wire, which is thicker at the amplifier?
We can just lift the board up because it's not bolted down. And there's the issue. So eight gauge wire goes into the block and then it gets split into four gauge, eight gauge, eight gauge and it gets worse. Eight gauge jumps over to the other block and then it goes into another eight gauge, another eight gauge. Think about it, this red wire started its life as one single eight gauge coming off the battery. And then it comes here and it gets split eight different ways. Holy cow. And you could tell the system's not doing anywhere near full power because it didn't blow the 60 amp fuses. Install's pretty neat on the top end anyway. A little bit of a disaster down here. But three shops let it leave like this. It's okay, we're gonna make it right. 